Okay, here we're going to graph two periods of y equals one-half cosine of 4x plus pi. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this. I'm going to make the coefficient on the x in the parentheses equal to a positive 1. So to do that, we would simply have to factor out the 4. Well, 4 times x would give us 4x, and 4 times pi over 4 would give us pi. So we're just rewriting this. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can pick out the period a bit easier. So the amplitude, that's just the absolute value of 1 half. Well, that's 1 half, easy enough. The period will be 2 pi over 4, or pi over 2 when we simplify that. Again, to get the increments, or the values I use uh, uh, to sort of get to my next points, I take 1 fourth of whatever the period is, and that'll give us pi over 8 for this particular function. And if we compare this to, if we compare our graph to the graph of 1 half of cosine of 4x, we're going to have a phase shift or a horizontal shift. We're going to have a horizontal shift to the left of pi over 4 units. So I see a positive pi over 4. Well, it's going to shift it to the left pi over 4 units. The first thing I'm going to do is graph 1 half of cosine of 4x. And then all I'm going to do is just move it to the left pi over 4. And that will give us the graph that we want. So here we're going to graph y equals 1 half cosine of 4x. So again, I'm going to label everything, certainly not going to be exactly to scale. Let's see, um, we've got 1 half as the amplitude, pi over 8, that's at what, 3 eighths, that's almost a half. Um, so I'm going to put positive 1 half up there, negative 1 half down there, and now I'm going to start using my increments of pi over 8. So there will be 1 pi over 8, 2 pi over 8, 3 pi over 8, 4 pi over 8, or pi over 2, 5 pi over 8, 6 pi over 8, 7 pi over 8, um, 8 pi over 8, or pi. And again, that makes sense. If the period's pi over 2, well, hey, two periods will be at pi. Well, if you substitute in x equals 0, you can always just start plotting points. If you substitute in x equals 0, we'll get cosine of 0, which is 1, times a half. So at 0, we're going to be sitting at 1 half. And then at the next value, which we said was going to be pi over 8, we'll be at, um, at 0. And then at 2 pi over 8, or pi over 4, at pi over 4, we're going to be at negative 1 half. And then we'll be back at 0. And then we'll be back up at positive 1 half. So there's one period. There's one period. And then it just continues that pattern. So now just repeat that same graph. And you're in business. OK, so again, you know, to do this by hand, sort of, again, to me, the, the tedious part is just coming up with the new coordinates. So now let's graph y equals 1 half cosine of 4 times, we said 4 times x plus pi over 4. So what we're going to do is just move everything to the left pi over 4 units. OK, so let me be careful here. Um, try to keep it to scale here. So. If I went over on my little graph paper, if I went over two marks, that's pi over 8. So four marks was pi over 4. So instead of being at 0, we're going to be at, so that'll be the point negative pi over 4. So I started at 0. If I go to the left, pi over 4 units, I'm now going to be sitting at positive 1 half. So there's 1 half. 
And the same thing. Now my increments, according to my original graph, I was using two marks. So two marks, two marks, moving over two. This is why it's nice to graph with a graph paper, something I don't do very often. But now we can just continue that pattern. So we'll be at zero, then we'll be at negative one half, and then back at zero, and then at positive one half. It's my graph all off. Yes, it looks like I went up three there. Let's start that over. Let's put it two units up there. Make it a, look a little bit better. So please ignore that point. So up to, and again, just continue this pattern. And of course, it never hurts to label a few extra units. So this was negative pi over 4, or negative 2 pi over 8. So that'll be the x-coordinate of negative pi over 8, 0. We've got pi over 8 right there. 2 pi over 8, or pi over 4, will be that x-coordinate. 3 pi over 8 will be that x-coordinate. We've got 4 pi over 8, or pi over 2. There's 5 pi over 8. Um, 6 pi over 8, 7 pi over 8, and it looks like I've got more than I needed, right? So, and there's back at 8 pi over 8 or pi. So I said I was going to uh, graph exactly two periods, uh, but I lied. I went a little bit over. So if you wanted exactly two periods, you could chop the graph off um, at 6 pi over 8, and then just use that bit of the graph, and you would have exactly two periods. Okay, so you could stop it right there and then you would have two periods of the the function one half cosine of four times x plus pi over four. So that little bit right there would do it.